We pray in the name of the Almighty God, Jesus Christ. Today is May 20, year of 2016. Brother Billy have some comment, which is he believed that the Holy Ghost tell him to share with the Catholic community and of course to all of the brother and sister around the world. So please, Billy, go ahead. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bill, and I was given a message by the Holy Spirit for Catholics who have left the Catholic Church or other churches and or do not attend a church any longer. There is a great misconception as to the, uh, the freedom that we have in believing in what we wish to believe in. And this message is mostly for men and women that were baptized Catholic. The Blessed Sacrament of Baptism is one of only two of the Blessed Sacraments in the Catholic Church where you can only receive it one time. And the reason for this is that your soul will bear the mark of a Catholic. What does that mean? It simply means that when it is your day of judgment, you will be judged as a Catholic. Therefore, if you go to another religion and you read that religion's Bible and you follow that Bible looking for your answers, when you die and are going to judgment, the good Lord is going to go, your soul says you're Catholic. So, what you need to do is come back to your Catholic Church. Because that is what you're going to be judged for. Now, I understand that the Catholic Church has many strict rules. Well, these aren't rules to punish or constrict, uh, you know, constrict people. These rules are to protect your soul. So, um, I've had many, uh, numerous uh, experiences with people where they have left their Catholic faith. And let me start out by saying you never leave your Catholic faith. You're always going to be a Catholic if you were baptized Catholic. I had one instance where someone said they didn't like who they married. And they married that person in the Catholic Church. And in the Gospel of Mark... It says that, let no man put asunder what God has united in holy matrimony. So, if in fact you are Catholic, and you marry after divorce, you're committing adultery. And it doesn't matter what religion you go to, or whether you don't even go to a religion anymore, uh, you will be judged as a Catholic. So do yourself a favor. If you fall under this category, get back to your Catholic Church. Do your soul the good that it needs. Because the Catholic Church is here to protect your soul. Thank you very much. The, um, the comment uh, I have uh, is uh, before we smart enough to know who are we and what is my name is, what your name is. By that time we already exist. And especially if you Catholic, by that time you already Catholic, born Catholic. God intended for you to be a Catholic is what you're saying. Correct. 
because when I smart enough to know, oh, my name is Brother Jimmy, I am Vietnamese American, or uh, I born from South Vietnam. Uh, by that time, I already, you know, me mm -hmm. exist, and I'm already Catholic before I know I am Catholic. That is correct. So, I mean, you know, there a reason for being Catholic. Yeah, Catholic. You're chosen. Yeah. So, so, um, I mean. Just like say that you know you deny the Catholic for why, and then later later on you come back to the Catholic, and no nobody, nobody stop you. No, you never stop being Catholic. Yeah, nobody stop you. No, it's only you deny the church. You are only you deny the Catholic. You bring up a valid point. Now the Catholic Church, like any other church, is run by humans and humans make mistakes. There's only one human being that touched the face of this earth and he came from heaven. And he was born without original sin and he's the son of God, Jesus Christ. So in the instance that uh, you heard rumors that priests did this or that this happened in the Catholic Church, it wasn't the Catholic Church that caused you to make the decision that you made. You're the one that made that decision and you will be judged accordingly. Because God will just simply say, you're the one that made the choice, not I. You made the choice to leave the Catholic Church. Well, I'm here as a messenger for the Holy Spirit to let you know that He wants you back. You belong to the Catholic faith. God has deemed you a Catholic. And no matter what you do in that time in between, coming back to the church, and when you left, none of that matters, because you will only be judged by your Catholic faith. So, in an essence, I'm trying to help save your soul, which is what the SOS Rock and Roll Band is about, and Face God, Jesus Christ, Radio Internet Ministry. And uh, the thing I um, would like to, uh, I need to say is that uh, when you call the uh, the priest of the Catholic at the Father, or you call the priest, the head priest of Catholic is uh, right now is uh, Pope uh, Francis. You call him at uh, the Father. The Holy Father. Yeah, the Holy Father. Right. And sometimes we question why we call him the Holy Father because at the Holy God, Jesus Christ said that there were only one Holy Father is the Father, the Son, and Holy Ghost. And that's it called the, the Holy Father. And now here on earth, we are brother and sister. That is correct. That is correct. So, the mis misunderstanding, the misunderstood is, many of you out there thought that the Catholic call the Pope, the Holy Father, is like God, calling God. That's incorrect. Yeah, that is, this, that's, that is some misunderstanding, very clear. Yeah. Because we, Never mean that, meant that the, the the Pope is the Holy God. So that is something that the to me somehow that the Holy Ghost tell me that the Church, the Catholic Church, Rome, need to explain that to the people. So that's why. The people of those who missing understanding will open and be friendly and to be connect with the Catholic because a lot of them out there thought and thinking that we the Catholic look up to the Pope, the leader of Catholic as the Holy God. 
and that is incorrect. That is incorrect. Okay, so would you say something about that? Or well, whatever? Jesus uh, asked the Apostle Peter if he loved him three times. He said, finally, he said, uh, he says, you know that I love you, Lord. And he says, you know, lead my flock. So, St. Peter is the figurehead of the Catholic Church. And uh, St. Peter's Basilica in Rome is where St. Peter is buried. St. Peter is the one that Jesus gave to the church on earth to. So, the Pope represents the Apostle Peter who is the leader of the church on earth. And that is simply as, as far as the Pope's duties go, is to represent the Apostle Peter, who Jesus once again proclaimed the leader of his church. Okay, now, my dear brother and sister around the world, as you know, we're going to use the window 10 coming out soon, right? Correct. So why the human being technology is always working, trying to come out some better solution? Why not? Why not? So that means, why can the Holy God come out with some new message, some new solution to guiding human beings to be safety and to be with God? Repent. Yeah. Okay. So, well, go ahead. So that means, we, we got to use Windows 10 soon. So why not the, the above world? We are human beings, you know. We make movement. So why not the above world, like the Holy God, Jesus Christ, do something special, come out, something that to remind the whole world that he is real, and he is coming back. Oh, he's soon. constantly showing us signs. Constantly so what, showing yes, us signs. Yes, so what you see, this side of Brother Billy, this side over there, I'm talking about right there, is the image of the Holy God, Jesus Christ, appear in the sky, warning to all of us. And this is, I make the color darker, and this is the original colors right here. This is the image of the Holy God, Jesus Christ, right here. That is the original. Why the Holy God appears side to warning to all of us? As he said before, he said there will be sign appear in the sky That's and correct. made the thing appear in the sky to warning to all of us before the end of humankind schedule off. That means the above world will take over the earth and guiding us and to protect us from evil. Why not? And now as you see, right here, this is the original color image of the Holy God, Jesus Christ appear in the sky when I guiding the public pray outside open door and the image of God appear in the sky. Why not? And this is the original color. Now I make the color darker or different color. It look like this. That's the image of the Holy God Jesus Christ. And you can Get on FaceGodJesusChrist.com, learn, and you can copy the image of God, the Holy God, Jesus Christ. And more, 
sign appear in the sky, which is we capture why we pray outside with the public. My dear brother and sister around the world, <clears throat> we have more than seven billion brothers and sisters around the world need to know about the message because God loves every one of us equally. Yes. So please, throw all of our trash, things that we don't need, you know, in our lifetime. We work for it, and we crazy for it, and we live with it, you know. And most of the time, it causes problem. The Holy God said we need to stop it. Stop licking the trash. The Holy God, Jesus Christ, tell me to remind you that is we need to deliver the wonderful warning of the Almighty God. To all the brothers and sisters around the world to know as soon as possible about the last warning of God. Because He will appear from heaven to earth on time, as He said. And that's exactly what He told me not long ago. And of course, He already said that some 2,000 years ago before He go up to heaven. He said he will come back on time. And it's not long ago, year of 2010, he came to me and he told me that. He said he will come back on time. And of course, he will set his kingdom. He raised Jerusalem.